Hey guys, Jeff here. Today I'm gonna run through how to play Canvas. Now this is a game where all the players are painters in a painting competition. We are trying to make beautiful paintings that appeal to the judges, and if we meet the specific scoring criteria, we will score these ribbons, and the player with the most points will win best in show. So when setting up this game, you're gonna choose four scoring conditions to play with. Now the game comes with 12 different scoring conditions of diff different complexities, and you can uh, combine any four of them um, to, to make the style of game that you'd like to play. Today we're gonna play with four of the uh, more basic scoring conditions here. Um, what we're trying to do in the game is get these clear art cards, layer them in hand, um, find the best possible combination, and then sleeve them into our background cards, and then we will score points for each condition that we meet. Now, the game will end when all players have completed exactly three paintings, and each painting will contain exactly three art cards. So on your turn, you can do one of two things. You can, first of all, take a card from the art market, or you could sleeve exactly three cards into one of your backgrounds and score it. And that is called creating a painting. So if you decide to take a card from the market, you can take any of the cards available to you here, um, but you must pay one inspiration token to each card on, to the left of the desired card. So if I would like to take this card, I would have to place one token here, one token here, and then I can add this card to my hand of cards. Now all these cards will slide down and we will replenish the card on the far right. Play continues to the left. Each card will, each other play will take their turn claiming a card from the market. Um, and let's say the game goes around a few more times and I've now uh, created a hand of cards here. Um, now I'm going to arrange these cards into the best possible combination and try and score as many of these conditions as possible. So maybe for my turn I decide I don't want to take a card and instead I'm going to create a painting. I will take exactly three cards from my hand. I will sleeve them in one of the backgrounds. I have now created a beautiful illustration. I have a painting title. This painting is called Melancholy Surrender and these are the um, elements of design that it features. So let's see how this painting does. In order to score variety, you need to have each of the four elements of design. I do have at least one of each of the elements of design, so I'm gonna take one of the red ribbons. Do I have a hue icon and a non-adjacent shape icon? I do. There's a space in between, and I have both of those icons, so I get to take a green ribbon. Do I have a texture next to a tone icon? I do. So I would get to take a blue ribbon. And lastly, are all five of the slots filled? No, I am missing the yellow slot, so I do not get to take a purple ribbon. But three ribbons for one painting is pretty good. Um, so play continues like that until all players have, uh, have completed uh, all three of their paintings. The only way to get tokens back is if you pick up a card from the market that has tokens on it, in which case you get to keep those tokens. At the end of the game, we're going to score our ribbons, and as you can see, the more ribbons of a color that you have, the more points it's going to be worth. So if I have three red ribbons, we can see that that is worth nine points. The other way of scoring is with bonus points. So you'll notice some of these cards have bonus icons on them, and what that says is you will score two bonus points for each of whatever element type is shown here, in this case, the hue icon. So if I had made this painting, I would get two points for this hue icon and two points for this hue icon, and I would claim these two ribbons. Now we're going to add our ribbons up at the end of the game, and the player with the most points wins best in show, and that is Canvas.